Hello guys, Chris here with Chris's Granite Paradise, out and about today, talking to you from Rock Creek in the Beartooth Mountains of Montana. This is the river that comes uh, alongside US Highway 212 in Red Lodge, Montana and goes up the canyon. And we're going to do some rock picking today, see what kind of rocks we can find. Thanks for joining us. So the water was lower yesterday when we got here and it rained all night. So I got the sandals out. This water pretty much comes from melting snow so it's extremely cold. We'll see how long I can do this. A lot of beautiful rocks here. Those of you, those of you who know the geology of the area, you'll know that this canyon is basically carved by glaciers into Archaean basement rock, as we like to call it. Granites, gneisses, uh, things of that nature. Whenever I go to a river or creek anywhere, especially places that I haven't been, I've been here plenty of times before and I actually already have a lot of rocks from here. But I, I always like to go down and kind of get an overall look of what kind of rocks are around. And here what I mostly see are granitic rocks, gneisses. And this would be a typical piece of what I re I'm referring to when I say gneiss. Basically stripy granite. <laughs> in this case it appears to me mostly uh, biotite mica because it reflects kind of gold in the sunlight. Not sure if it's showing there. It's very abundant in Rock Creek. In fairly short order, one can make a really nice, nice garden. In the case of Rock Creek, one of my favorite things to collect or at least look at are these porphyritic stones. Sometimes these can occur as basalts erupting from a volcano, but in the case of this canyon, uh, I think I already mentioned this canyon is a wide U-shaped valley that was carved out by glaciers and now Rock Creek has taken up residence in, in the bottom of it. But the river is full of these basaltic rocks with the phenocrysts of feldspar. Every color you can imagine. There's pinks, reds, sometimes with beautifully formed crystals. And the way these occur, as, as one drives up Beartooth Pass, there are literally thousands of these dikes and sills. Basically mag magma intruded again and again into all this granite and gneiss as it was being uplifted. And so basically every dike and every sill is a slightly different chemical composition and hence an infinite variety. Probably a third of the rocks in this river are actually of that material. Most of the rest, of course, is granite and nice. Very nice, nice, by the way. Yet another nice, nice from Rock Creek. I want to show this to you guys because this is actually a variety of the porphyry that's fairly rare in this canyon. It does show up. I believe this is called andesite. Those of you who are more technical, you can correct me. But it has the, both the dark and the light phenocris. And some of these dark crystals are perfectly formed rectangles, such as that one. 
I can't wait to see it when it's dry. I'll make sure I show you guys a clip. There's another nice rectangle. But I believe those are horn blend crystals. And of course the other white rectangles are the, uh, the feldspar. A dark matrix with the beautiful feldspar crystals. Sometimes they're uh, beautifully formed rectangles. Other times they're shaped like stars. So those are my favorites to find around here. I wanted to show off the few rocks I'm going to take home. I'm traveling home on the bus. So I had to be pretty picky. But I think I got a nice little collection to bring home to add to my sculpture of the rocks from the Yellowstone and its tributaries. Bringing home a piece of aventurine. Basically a quartz interlaced with a greenish mica. A couple of very nice porphyries, of course. These you already saw down by the river. And another piece of quartz with a lot of green in it. I don't think this is a venturine. This almost looks crystalline. Thanks again for watching. It has sure been a pleasure to share Rock Creek with you and the beautiful variety, especially of the porphyries, but also of the other rock varieties that are found in this river. Tomorrow, we're traveling up the canyon and going over Beartooth Pass, and I hope to do part two of this video showing where all these rocks come from. Look forward to seeing you there.